Hello guys, Winston here. With my CNC enclosure completed and successfully containing all manner of dust and debris, I wanted to start machining materials that I'd previously been holding off on. First on my list was aluminum. In Shapeoko circles, there's already a fairly common beginner project for aluminum, a bottle opener. And while the design looks quite classy, years of following Alton Brown have conditioned me to be wary of unitaskers, and the Inventables bottle opener is a pretty big one, so I took inspiration from a different source. Many, many months ago, I saw a Kickstarter for a product called the Pickpocket. It was a combination keychain pocket clip bottle opener cut from a sheet of titanium on a water jet, and I thought the design was pretty neat. It's small, simple, and effective. However, I didn't drink enough beer at the time to justify backing the project. Now, with a CNC, I thought I could make my own version. But since I'd be working with softer aluminum and I wanted to put my own twist on the design, I had to start from scratch. I began sketching out ideas, first starting with the core functionality of being able to open bottles, and then adding in elements like the pocket clip. To maximize my use of material, I opted for a rectangular design and worked in other features as space permitted. Since aluminum doesn't hold an edge very well, most multi-tool components like blades or screwdriver points were out of the question. I decided to incorporate a pair of open-ended hex cutouts for adjusting nuts and bolts. One for regular quarter-inch hardware, and the other for Shapeoko standard 5mm nuts. I'd be machining my keychain from a piece of 3 16 aluminum 6061T6. I could have started with an 8th inch plate for this project, but I'm actually using this material for a different project which requires that extra 16th of an inch. To save weight, I added as many pockets as I could while maintaining a minimum flat to flat thickness in all members of 0.08 inches. Certain pockets I didn't mill through completely. I kept a 1 16th inch thick layer at the bottom of the pocket to make the frame more rigid. Once I settled on a design, I put together a CAD model and dumped the resulting STL into MeshCam. I tried choosing conservative cutting parameters since this was my first time machining aluminum and I was using a tiny 1 16th inch flat end mill. I went with a cutting depth of 0.2 millimeters and a feed rate of 15 inches per minute. Because the depth of cut was so important, I took the time to make sure my stock material was laying perfectly flat. I had to shim it up on one side with a few sheets of paper. About 90 minutes later, I had version 1.0 in hand. It just needed a little bit of sanding to remove some of the hard edges. Once I was able to play around with this prototype and understand the mechanical properties of my stock material, I decided to go back into my model and be more aggressive with my material removal. I dropped my minimum thickness requirements down to 0.06 inches and added more pockets. All of the features were cut completely through the frame this time. I also decided to drop it into MakerCam as an SVG and take full control of the toolpath generation since the MeshCam program I'd used for my first keychain wasn't the most efficient. I wanted my CNC to focus on machining one pocket at a time instead of trying to remove one layer from each pocket every pass which incurs a large amount of useless travel time. Unfortunately, my second and third attempts ended in failure, and I discovered halfway through the third job that this was because my x-axis GT2 belt was too loose. You can actually see the results of that in my first bottle opener. The angled portions aren't entirely straight. Instead of the x and y axes moving in unison, the x-axis took an extra second to take up slack in the belt before it could start moving. I tried tightening up the belt in the middle of my third run when I noticed this, but that threw everything out of alignment. My next test completed successfully, sort of. My end mill snapped about three quarters of the way through the program, and I had to cancel the run, install a new end mill, re-zero the CNC, and run a new version of my program with the first half of the G-code cut out. Just for comparison, this is the keychain bottle opener that I'm replacing with my own. Not only does my new bottle opener have a flatter profile that hangs with my keys better, but it's also lighter and does more. Next weekend, I'll be punching out a few more prototypes, trying different cutting speeds, and compensating for spindle runout. In the future, I may try anodizing my keychain. And that's it for today. Please share any thoughts, comments, or suggestions down below. I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you in a couple weeks with some sort of project I haven't decided on yet.